This hack tip is brought to you by T-Mobile's new Samsung Galaxy S3. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into even more Linux Terminal 101. Let's create our own commands with the alias command. Yay! Programming! Now, first off, a very important terminal tip. You can put more than one command on the same line, separating them with a semicolon. Ha <laughs> ha! So here's an example of such a thing. You can type in cd slash usr, semicolon, of course, ls, semicolon, cd, space, tech. And that gives me a whole nifty line of commands that were just used. So this is going to change the directory to slash usr, then list the directory, and then it's going to return me to my original directory. Now let's name this new series of commands the foo command, and we'll create it using alias. To do this, you just have to type in alias space foo equals apostrophe cd forward slash usr semicolon ls semicolon cd dash apostrophe and then press enter and it should save the string of commands and the structure is alias name equals apostrophe string apostrophe now after the break we'll test our new command stay tuned I'd like to thank T-Mobile for sponsoring this episode of Hack Tip. In fact, this entire episode is being recorded on the new T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S3. It's loaded with features like this huge 4.8 inch screen, an HD camera, and a crazy fast hotspot with T-Mobile's 4G. And when combined with T-Mobile's 4G network, the Samsung Galaxy S3 lets me upload my photos and my videos from Comic-Con within seconds to all of my friends. Head over to bit.ly slash spin to win H5 to learn more and maybe even win a phone or other Samsung product in their spin to win contest. We're back and it's time to test our command. I should be able to type foo and it should work. So let's find out. Foo! Ha! And it works. I see that I can uh, type type foo as well to see the string of commands that I just created. Type foo. And it shows me the string of commands that just showed up. Awesome! Yay! Now, to delete that alias, you just have to type unalias foo and it should delete the command. Of course, it doesn't show you any kind of OK, it's done, so I can type type foo again and it should give me an error because it no longer is, exists. Type foo. Bash type foo, not found. Awesome, nice. It worked and you just learned how to create and remove a new command, awesome. Although there is one problem though, aliased commands won't save. So when you close the terminal, it disappears. Yeah, I know, it stinks. Now if you want it to save, you can type in nano.bashrc. This is a bashrc file. It's, it's basically a customization tool, but most people use it just to save aliases and move this file from one computer to another to save their aliases on several different machines. So I can type in Okay, so I got into my .bashrc file, and if I scroll down, I should be able to find a list of aliases. Here we go. So I'm just going to add another alias. Alias. Doesn't really matter where you put it, by the way. You just put it wherever you want. So my new alias is going to be foo, and it's going to echo to me, hello world. It's going to echo that back whenever I type it in. And then save, enter, and exit. Let's clear this out. All right, now hopefully this worked. After I saved it, now every time I open the terminal and type in foo, it'll say to me, hello world, awesome. Now let's make sure it works, huh? So let's close out of that, Get my recording in the background. And let's try typing in foo. foo. Hello world. <laughs> Yes, it worked. Now, how did you guys learn the terminal? There are lots of handy websites out there that really go into detail about how to use it, etc. How to explore 
Tell me about your favorites in the comments or you can email me at tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolast.